Arable farming is the growing of cereal crops, such as wheat, barley and oats. Wheat is the most widely grown crop in the UK and about 15 million tonnes are harvested each year and much of it is milled into flour. The growing of cereals takes a lot of work and uses a lot of different machines. And now we'll show you how it all works. Firstly we start with slurry, the liquid manure that comes from farm animals. First it's collected from the farmyard by the farmer. It then gets spread on the land to provide nutrients to the crops. The equipment pulled by the tractor to spread slurry is very big. Farmyard manure, which is muck and straw, is also spread on the land to feed the soil to improve its quality. It's a bit of a smelly job, but it does wonders for the soil and helps the farmer to grow good crops. For some crops, the land needs to be ploughed to enable new seeds to be planted. The plough turns the soil over. Reversible ploughs allow the farmer to plough a field first from one end and then from the other, saving a lot of time. Spreading crushed limestone or sea sand on the land helps to lower the acidity of the soil. The acidity of the soil can be tested to see if it needs lime or sand to be added. If it does, the lime and sand helps to improve the quality of the soil and makes it easier to grow healthy plants and crops. If it does, the lime and sand helps to improve the quality of the soil and makes it easier to grow healthy plants and crops. Fertilizer is also spread on the fields to help crops grow. Fertilizer provides nitrogen to improve leaf growth, phosphorus to encourage strong roots, flowers and seeds, and potassium for strong stems and other benefits for the crops. The seeds for the crop are then drilled into the ground, and at the same time the seedbed is prepared to give the seeds a good start to their growing life. crops are often sprayed to kill any weeds or diseases that may interfere with their ability to grow properly. This helps to protect the crops from contracting any diseases or being overrun by unwanted weeds. Some spraying equipment can use the latest technology that can detect where weeds are, so it just sprays when any weeds are present. Another important farm crop is grass silage. This is cut with mowers pulled by tractors, and they're like huge lawn mowers. Some tractors can operate two mowers at the same time and can cut grass at great speed. Ted in, then shakes up the cut grass, which allows it to dry slightly before it's picked up. Next, a huge rake pulled by a tractor is used to pull all of the cut grass into smaller rows. This then preps it to be collected and then taken back to the farm to be stored. Next, the forage harvester gathers up the grass and blows it into trailers that are pulled by tractors.
Once the trailer is full, it's now time to take it back to the farmyard for storage. The silage is put into a special silage clamp and it is then ready to be fed to the livestock to eat during the winter months when they are unable to graze in the fields. Haylage or hay is created in the same way as silage, but the grass is allowed more time to dry before being made into bales. Bales can come in various sizes and shapes. Sometimes they are wrapped in plastic to help keep them fresh. Once the bales have finished being wrapped, they are then stored, ready to be fed to livestock and horses at other times of the year. Barley is one of the main arable crops grown across the world and is ranked fourth for production after maize, rice and wheat. Barley is used in animal and human foods and it is also used to make beer. Once ripe, the crop is harvested using huge combine harvesters which remove the barley seeds from the stems and leave the straw lying in the field. The grain from the crop is then emptied into a big trailer which then gets transported to the farm. The straw is then baled ready to use as bedding for livestock over the winter months. Oats are another widely grown arable crop. Oats are ground up for oatmeal or flattened for rolled oats. Rolled oats are what you eat in your porridge for breakfast. Oats are also used to feed animals. The oats are emptied from the combine into a trailer and taken back to the farmyard. After the oats have been taken back to the farmer's barn for storage, they often need to be dried. This is to reduce their water content so that they keep better. The grain is then tested for its water or moisture content to make sure it's okay to store away. is one of the main crops grown across the world and uses more land than any other food to produce. It's harvested in the same way as barley and oats. Wheat grain is ground to make flour for bread or pastry bacon and it's also used in a wide variety of other foods. On average, one hectare, which is roughly the area of a football pitch, will produce enough flour to make 11,500 loaves of bread. That's a lot of toast. When the grain is ground to make flour, this is called millen, and the flour can then be used to make bread and other foods. Flour is mixed with water, yeast, 
sugar and salt to make a dough. The yeast makes the dough rise and gives bread its springy texture. The next job is to cut the dough into small parts. The dough is then kneaded and left to rise before the loaves are baked. 